Happy and Holy Christmas, the real Christmas for Catholics. This year, the whole world is celebrating Christmas again, a time when families gather, people go on vacation, and there is much joy for a time when all human beings are filled with love for the celebration of the birth of Christ. But are we really focusing that happiness on the coming of the Messiah? I think not. The secularized world has lost the concept of Christmas. Although it is true that everyone, even those who do not believe in God, enter into a time of fraternity where everyone wants to do good and share joy. It seems that everyone celebrates the end of another year of struggle. It seems more like a personal victory in which everyone hopes to enter a better year. Since long before Christmas, we see decorations everywhere to incite people's joy. It is the biggest time of the year for shopping, traveling, parties, entertainment. Everything seems very good from a human point of view. But the reality is that Christ is not in these festivities. The Christmas wishes that people give are related to human temporal welfare. Nothing to do with the salvation of souls. Christmas cards are a profanation of the name of Christmas, which means the birth of Christ. The cards are of human fraternity, of good wishes, of joy and welfare, which has nothing to do with the celebration of the birth of Christ. The pagan world of today does not celebrate any Christmas. In fact, in English, the word Christmas that contains the name of Christ has been replaced by the Xmas. In other words, it has taken out Christ, it has totally removed him. Christmas has become a gift exchange driven by the pagan story of Santa Claus, Christmas trees and all the glamour and color of an age that forgets the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Even Catholics have become contaminated by the paganism that desecrates the true Christmas. Sadly, Catholicism has dramatically declined in the world and the few remaining faithful are being forced to desecrate the body of Christ in the Holy Eucharist, receiving it in the hand. Respect for the God who became food for us has been lost. Now we treat him without respect. Because of the new method of communion in the hand, the hosts fall to the ground in the temples as if God were garbage. The true meaning of Christmas takes us back to the beginning of our salvation with the coming of the Savior of the world in a poor, silent way known only to humble little shepherds and to the Magi who represent the pagan humanity that was called to recognize the King of Kings born in darkness and poverty. Not even the Jews themselves who were so eagerly awaiting the coming of the Messiah were aware of his arrival. The reason is that like the Jews of those times, now the world is busy with its own things and has no shelter in his heart for a God who seeks to reign within each human being. For the Lord knocks at the door, but few open it. The Lord has called us to repentance and conversion, but we cannot receive him unless we change our lives. The God of life has come in search of souls who will open their hearts and give him shelter. He has done it in such a humble way that he resembles a beggar who humbly asks for lodging. So small has our God become in order to procure salvation for us. Just as he came in, in the poverty of Joseph and Mary to a cold cave, to a hard bed, on a dark night, the light of the world mysteriously descended without any majesty before men. However, the author of life, the God of eternity, the light that illuminates every human being who comes into the world, became man and was born of the Blessed Virgin Mary to give us salvation. His glorious arrival was only for the humble, the poor, the little ones, and the true Christmas that we celebrate must be that encounter with God 
who has become to be born in every heart. The kingdom of God is not of this world. That is, it is destined only for those who, while living in this world, open their hearts to begin that journey towards eternal life, of which Jesus, as the child God, is our only way. May our Christmas be truly holy and centered in our heart, so that we open it and give it to the child God, who has come and wants to reign in our life together with his most holy mother. The best birthday gift we can give Jesus is to give him our lives and promise to live according to his holy word. May our gracious and patient God have mercy on all of us, and may he find us ready for his second glorious coming to the world. We wish you a very happy and holy Christmas from the work of God. If you like this video, please give us a like, subscribe to our channel The Work of God, share on social networks, and don't forget to leave your valuable comments. God bless you.